Hi everybody, welcome back to Channeling Luxury Designers with Danny B. Today I want to show you the spring summer 2022 black waste bag. So many of us look forward to seeing what cool waste bag we can find every year, what comes out, uh, what type of leather and so on. I think the coolest waste bags are the ones that the sales associates get to use in the store because they're smaller and they, they do still come out a little bit. You can put a lot of stuff in, but they're smaller in size. So um, we don't really want, most of us I think don't want waste bags that come all the way out to here, right? It's just too much. Um, and so a nice small compact waste bag that looks really good and has nice leather um, to me is a big win. I haven't been able to find one like that for um, several years at Chanel. Not because I'm not being offered one, just that I haven't found the right one. They've either been too big, um, poorly designed, I didn't like the leather, um, it's too stiff. I'm not a fan of, as you may know if you've watched my channel before, I'm not a fan of caviar leather. Very much, very different than a lot of you might be. Um, so I thought I would show you this one from this year. This is my favorite one for the last half a decade at least. And um, so my unboxings are not super elaborate with all the ribbons and really slow. As you know, I just kind of get right to the point here. So this one is, um, is called the Waste Bag in Black, obviously. It retails for 4300 up here in the video, I'll post a picture of the tag so you can see what it looks like. It is gold hardware, as you know, I don't tend to do that, but you kind of can't tell how many options when it comes to waste bags, unfortunately. The nice thing is it's not bright gold, it's a more muted, I think it looks like brass, that they should have called it brass, but Chanel will never do that. So I've already unpackaged it, obviously, so that's why you're not seeing the beautiful unwrapping, um, because I wanted to check it out, but let me show you what it will hold and what it looks like so this is it um, and it has the front, obviously I haven't used it yet, but it has the front pocket and then it also has the inside pocket. Um, I'll take this stuff out so you can see what it will do, what it won't do. And then it also has on the back, it looks like there should be a pocket here. That's not a pocket, but this little guy again, what are they for? I don't know, I guess your valet sticker um, for the back, right? So um, I'm gonna be creating more videos for my channeling luxury travel here very shortly as I start to kick off some travel that got delayed from COVID a couple of years ago. And I plan to bring this with me. It's why I purchased it this year. I have been holding out for a number of years. I got it this year for traveling because um, I think that it's uh, nice to have your hands free. And quite honestly, you know, I mean, I already sit like this, right, from my computer all day, so it's nice to have something that won't do that. So let me show you how it fits on first. Um, so I try to, this by the way is a vest, um, I have been asked about it before, this vest is about, I think it was from 2017 or 16, um, and so, and I got it on eBay, I didn't even get it at the boutique, so it, it's, it's, you know, you can probably find it online somewhere if you're interested in it, I don't have the tag for it. So this is where this bag falls, let me try to move over here as well, you can get another angle of it, but if I come in close, um, you can kind of see the mod shot here and where it falls, and then if I step backwards, you can see um, where it hangs. So for reference, I'm five foot four right now and 120. Um, so I'm hoping when the 10 pounds are gone, it will still fit well. Uh, so it is smaller, right? It is on the smaller side. So if you're side, so if you're trying to add your charger, if you're traveling, you want to add your charger, you want to add all your money, your passport. It may, this may be insufficient for me. I keep it very simple and streamlined, um, when I'm traveling. So I think this will be really good. Um, the, there's a, there is a middle piece right in here. It's open, it's an open pocket. The phone does not fit in it. I've tried, it doesn't work. So the phone is gonna have to go in that main pocket here. This is an iPhone, uh, this is an iPhone 11 Pro. The Max is not gonna fit. If you have an iPhone, the Max is not gonna fit in this bag. This one will fit well here. Um, I haven't tried this out for a little bit. Actually, it fits even better in the front pocket, so that's probably where I will keep it. This has a good quarter inch extra space. So if you're trying to compare um, the size of an iPhone to what you have. You've got about a quarter of an inch additional space horizontally here that you can add. So one of the reasons I like this bag is um, you can make it pretty tight, right? So my waist is about a 27 right now. When I um, hopefully drop back to a 25, it will still fit. Uh, and if God forbid I eat my way through Italy, then it will also still fit on a larger, um, on a larger loop. There is even still a smaller one up here 
So there's a lot of opportunity to, to really adjust this bag. And I also like, you know, I'm not a fan of logos and having a lot of logos. I just don't think it looks as classy. Um, even though you won't know that from some of my ready to wear videos where my pants say Chanel all over, I do make exceptions, but you see it says Chanel here. I don't think that's bad necessarily. Um, I would like to have had a little more streamlined look there, but you know, it's, it was nice to actually find something that will work. So um, in terms of the actual size of this bag, let me measure it out for you. For those of you that are interested, um, and I, I don't use the bag, the dimensions that the Chanel website uses because although I will post that up, I don't use it because um, I don't find that it's very accurate in terms of what will actually fit, right? I wanna know how much is gonna go in this inside pocket. So um, that would be about 16 and three quarter centimeters or about six and a third, maybe a little bit more inches. Um, and then the depth of it so that it will still close, again, a different way than Chanel measures is about 10 centimeters or about four, uh, four inches. So that's that front pocket here. If you wanna look at the overall, um, the overall length of the piece, it's about seven inches. And, uh, and then the depth of it or height of it is about four and three quarter. Um, there's not much room to open this, to be honest. There's it's pretty, the zipper compartment is pretty tight. Realistically, I know Chanel has a different number on their website. I think there's about 15 centimeters of usable space in here um, and it doesn't run very deep. So you're only getting about, um, maybe maybe to close at 10 centimeters, which is different than what you see online. So, um, so you know, they're measuring outside dimensions, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because the dimensions don't always line up. So that's my uh, sort of quick review of the current spring 2022, spring summer 2022 waste bag. Um, it's the, my, been, as I said, my favorite one over the last half a decade or more. It's the only one I currently own. Um, the other ones I have uh, over time sold or, uh, or shared with my daughter because um, they just weren't a good fit for me. I, I don't want it to stick out too far off of my body and I also don't want it to be too big or too small and it has to be adjustable. They did a good job making this adjustable. The only thing I would change is I'd make this rose gold. Ah, they're never gonna do that. Um, maybe, maybe one day, I shouldn't say never. Maybe someone at Chanel will see this and, and make, make a cool rose gold bag. Uh, so anyway, that's my review and I will uh, post as much information as I can about this. So if you're interested in finding it, I do know that as of the time I posted this, there are a couple more out there and you can also um, always get it on the resale market if you can't find it, but you will probably pay more until next year when there's a new bag out. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful help or helpful, please click subscribe. It will help me um, continue to produce and make videos that will help all of us. And if you click the notifications button, you'll be notified when I have new content. Thank you so much.